Hello everyone! Welcome to my Goose Goose Duck tier list! Right now there are 32 roles in the game, and that's without counting the regular geese and ducks. Each role offers a unique experience for the players, but let's face it, they're not all fun to play as. For this ranking, I am not going to number them off from 32 to 1. All the roles I place in a particular tier are mostly equal in my opinion, so don't pay too much attention to which ones end up on the left side of the tier. I am also not labeling the tiers from S to D. Instead, I will break them up into the categories you see before you. The ones that end up in the bad and bottom tier are the ones I feel need the most improvements. The ones that end up in the mid and good are the roles that I feel are perfect the way they are. And the ones at the top I feel are so good that they end up altering how everyone else in the lobby plays the game. For this video, I gathered my own research from playing as these roles, but also got feedback from many of the Goose Goose Duck streamers and Discord communities I'm a part of. With that all said, let's dive right in. For starters, let's head down to the middle and see which roles are perfect the way they are. The first two on here are Canadian and Celebrity. While these roles only work if you die, they still help your teammates out a lot. Canadian reveals who murdered you, while Celebrity reveals your death only to your fellow geese, thus helping reveal who is not one of the good guys. Since these roles function exactly how they're supposed to, I place them right here in the middle of the tier list. Next up is Technician, which helps the team by detecting sabotages. However, it does suck that ghost ducks can mess with their readings. Hence why I think it functions well, but not good enough to be any higher than this. Now on to the Vigilante, which gets one free kill in the entire game. That is very useful, but since it's only one shot, you end up just doing tasks like a regular goose for 90% of the game. For that reason, I think it works, but not well enough to be any higher than this. Now for the role that plays a major part in how the game mechanics work, and that is the Dodo. Get voted out and you win! And while I see the purpose of this role is to stop players from just brainlessly voting out others, it does suffer from not being able to do anything special in the game. It can't vent, it can't kill, and it can't even do tasks if the fake ones are not turned on. For this reason, I place it right here in the middle of the tier list. Now for the Mimic! which also functions perfectly for what it's meant to do. While I do understand it's not everyone's cup of tea, I do see it as a necessary role considering the main plot of the game. Easily middle of the tier list material if played correctly. Now, let's move on to some duck rolls that I think are perfect the way they are. First two are Silencer and Party Duck. Both essentially mess with audio, though Silencer also stops you from typing in the chat. These roles are disruptive, especially Party Duck's hilarious helium shenanigans. But in the end, you are basically a regular duck who makes the ones you silence and humiliate instantly start recalling who they were next to in the previous round, thus often leading to you getting voted out. Silencer Duck also cannot use vents, so that is another aspect holding it back. Next is Cannibal Duck. You essentially get rid of one body, thus leaving a clean crime scene behind. It's very useful, but since it can only do it once, I can't rank it any higher than this. The final role in this tier is the Snitch Duck. While only available on maps with a jail, it still does a great job of setting up players to be shanked in the jail cell. Perfect at what it does, but nothing too mind-blowing. Alright, now let's move up to the roles I think are also perfect the way they are, but are just overall better than the roles in the mid-tier. Starting things off, we have the newest variation of the Dodo, Dueling Dodos. As I said before, the Dodo in the mid-tier cannot really do anything in the game other than stand around in suspicious places. This version of the role, however, gives you a kill button. Granted, you can only use it on the opposing Dodo once your fake tasks are done. It still gives the other players a visual that you are a killing role, which really helps in getting you voted out. And yes, I know that getting voted out before you kill the other Dodo negates your win condition. I understand as the meta evolves, this tactic will become more predictable, but as it stands right now, it is definitely one of the better roles and a major upgrade to the Dodo in mid-tier. Speaking of upgraded roles, the Gravy Goose is so much better than it used to be. 
Not only does it give you a lot of money if you finish your tasks and survive, but you are also essentially unkillable as long as another player is in close proximity to you. It's almost like having your very own meat shields. We think this role is very good and perfectly balanced with the ducks being able to see the money bag over your head. This role is also immune from getting sniped in meetings, so that is another reason it is so good. Next up is the Mechanic Goose, which is present on all but one of the maps so far. This role lets you hide in vents and use them to travel faster than the other players to certain locations. This role also makes killing roles cautious about committing murder or making strategic plans near the vents. For this reason, it definitely belongs here in the good tier. Now let's talk about the role that I think is an upgraded cannibal, the Vulture. Eat three to five dead bodies, depending on the lobby size, and you automatically win the game. This role makes killers think twice about killing in secluded areas, because the vulture gets these cool blue arrows that show it where the dead body is as soon as the victim is killed. Originally, I was going to put this role in mid-tier, since I think it functions perfectly, but can sometimes be hard to win in big lobbies. However, with the addition of the Demolition Duck, this role got a significant boost. That is why the Vulture lands in this tier, and not the one below. Speaking of the Demolition Duck, I think that is also a very good role. You can put a bomb on anyone in the game, and after a few seconds the bomb starts to tick, and the other player is notified that they are about to go BOOM. The bomb could even get past Hot Potato Style before it explodes. This role can also hop into vents, which makes the chances of the bomb getting passed back to you even slimmer. Honestly, the only thing holding this role back is that it is the only duck currently to not have a kill button, which makes it automatically lose when it goes up against a falcon or a sheriff. And what do you know? Sheriff is next! This role is one of the best on the geese side, and with good reason. You are essentially their protector. Sheriff can kill any duck or neutral role with no consequence. And the best part is that this role is balanced as well. If a sheriff kills a fellow goose, then they become so overwhelmed with guilt that they pull out a sword and how to kitty themselves. Wow. Thus making the sheriff player cautious about who they decide to unload their justice upon. Moving on to the morphling duck. This role is amazing. You can essentially frame other players by morphing into them and committing murder in front of groups of others as them. Some players have even started utilizing their GoXLRs or other voice samplers to really complete the illusion. I personally think that's cheating, but you still cannot deny how powerful this role is. Another really good role that I feel is amazingly underrated is the Spy Duck. This duck can learn the role of any other player during a meeting. This is very useful when there is a mimic in your ranks, or when you are trying to find out which roles are a threat to you and your fellow ducks. Having the ability to vent also makes this very possible, as you can learn about other roles just by hiding in the vents near other players. Truly a valuable role to have on the duck team. Originally I stated that being on the left side of the tier list doesn't really mean a role ranks higher than the others in the same tier. But with these next two, you can definitely make an argument against that. Let's start off with the Falcon. This role is really good. In fact, if it had the ability to use vents, it would easily be in the tier above this one. You are essentially an additional imposter, but you have no teammates. You can kill anyone and everyone in the game with little to no consequences. The game even changes by starting a timer and taking away the ability to report bodies if the Falcon is alone with two other players. All the Falcon has to do at that point is kill again or hide as the timer runs out, because once it does, they win. Truly an amazing role, and one I am always happy to play as. And capping off the good tier is the Professional Duck. This role makes the bodies of its victims invisible and can even negate the auto-reporting of the Canadian. I admit I almost put this role in top tier, but I feel it having the extra long cooldown does balance it enough to where other players don't have to play too differently when this role is on. Still, it is a very good role and easily top 3 when it comes to ranking just the ducks. Alright, where do we go next? I admit I have a lot to say about the bad and bottom roles, 
So let's just reveal who these two top ones are first. As you may have guessed, the role that I personally think is the best in the game is the Assassin Duck. This role greatly changed the nature of the game when it first debuted, and it still has a strong presence today. This role makes everyone, except the gravy, cautious when it's on. Many of the roles in the mid and lower tiers rely on telling other players what they are or what they can do in order for the roles to properly work. This makes them vulnerable to the assassin, who can just snipe them during the voting portion of meetings. Assassin can also vent, so spying on other players or catching the mechanic venting can also lead to more free kills. Luckily, this role is balanced in that it only gets two shots per game. Otherwise, it'd be way too overpowered. Many players also try and bait the assassin by pretending to be roles that they are not, and this often works against newer players who are not too experienced in the role. Regardless of how you play the game, if this role is on, then everyone is going to play around it, and that is why it is at the top of this list. And now for the other role that I think is top tier, and this one might not be as widely agreed upon. The Pigeon. Many lobbies I have played in over the last few months have turned this role off. The objective with Pigeon is to infect all the other players in a single round, which I admit is more difficult with a full 16 player lobby, but wait. The Pigeon can vent. So there is nothing to stop you from hiding for a few rounds and wait for the killers to thin the flock. Unlike the mechanic who has to do tasks in order to help out their team. But the Pigeon has no such weakness. The cooldown for the Pigeon is also very short compared to the other cooldowns in the game. When Pigeon is on, it is wise to not stay in large groups. And it is also wise to call meetings out of the blue every now and then to stop the Pigeon's streak. This is usually called a Pigeon Reset. In my experience, every time Pigeon was turned on, there was a guarantee of at least one or two Pigeon victories during the playtime. And that is why I feel this role belongs up here at the top of the tier list with the Assassin role. Alright, now that the top half of this list is revealed, let's head down to the depths and take a look at the bad and bottom tiers, aka the roles I think need the most improvement. In fact, I think this video has gone on for long enough, so I will just reveal the roles in these tiers for now, and I will go into detail on how I would improve each of these roles in the next video. Now for the bad but not bottom roles, we have Medium, Birdwatcher, Snoop, Bodyguard, and Hitman, and Lovers. Now for the bottom of the barrel roles that I feel need the most improvement, and those are Detective, Mortician, Politician, and The Locksmith. And that's the list in its entirety. Do you agree with our placings? Or are you already typing an argument in the chat? <laughs> Either way, we would love to hear your feedback. That is all for this video. If you want to see how we would improve the lower tier roles, then click right here.